Hello and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now normally I put on quick tips about um, animation, uh, but the, I don't really have a channel, it's just videos that I find helpful. Um, so this one is helpful for, in particular, the Tado heating system. Now I use Home Assistant and I use Tado. Uh, that basically is a little valve that goes onto your radiator and it regulates the temperature for you. Amazing, it's so, it's, it, it saves you a fortune, especially I use oil for my heating, so yeah, it does save you a lot of money. So it's worth putting the effort in. Now the issue I have with general thermostat here is, uh, let me show you the general thermostat here. Um, so here you can see the temperatures, for some reason, just like, it's 16.8 in there, but the set temperature, which is this one here, is 16.8 as well. So all the temperatures are set to what the room already is, which is not what you want. When I have my other genetic thermostats, which are attached to smart plugs, it works fine. So I don't know what it is, if it's just Tado, if it's Nest, if it's all the heating systems, but it doesn't work the way you want. It should work with general thermostat or with better thermostat. Uh, that was even... That, in, in all honesty, it was even worse. So uh, let me give you a quick example here of what I've got here. You see it was set, to, it should have been set to 18 or 20 or whatever it was, but it's pushing my youngest two-year-old room up to 25 degrees, which is is, is definitely not what you want. Um, and you can see here uh, from this little um, one here that the Hallway is set to 16.5, so this is the Tado app, so this is the accurate one, and in here it's set to 18. So they're two completely different temperatures. So when you're just using the scheduler, uh, so if you're just using the scheduler and this system here, the two, it clicks it in, but it sets it to whatever temperature it wants, and it's not what anyone wants, 25 degrees. Uh, I know it's cold in Scotland, but we don't want it that hot. Uh, so the I have got a workaround. So I leave the thermostats in place because when they are on at the correct temperature, it's quite good if you want it a little bit hotter, you just turn it up. If you want it a little bit colder, turn it down. But that only works when they're already on. Uh, but of course, you can also click on and then turn it up. Um, it's quite convenient. So if I always, I'm leaving the general thermostats there because they, they do have a use. Um, so the way I get this to work is let me just go into settings. Um, uh, now, first of all, I set my schedule. So let's go to here. There we go. Uh, so I set my schedule. Uh, it's, a, it's a helper, if you don't know what that is. Basically, you just click and drag. You can see there, oh, click and drag. So I want this to be on, and then the blank bit's off. Uh, quite pretty damn powerful, uh, in all honesty. So I've got a few in here. Uh, now, if I go to, uh, so we've done create a scene, so create a scene. So I've got <laughs> following my notes because sometimes I waffle. Uh, so the scene, this is uh, this is one of the most frustrating things in the world. Uh, when you turn on, when you click on the scene to adjust it, normally I do it via YAML, but it's much easier to show you this way, especially if you're a newbie like me. Uh, click it, the boiler will now kick in for some reason, even though I'm not asked it to. Uh, so anyway, I've set the hallway to 18, Kitchen to 18 and dining room to 18. Now, please excuse the way I've named these just now. I'm still learning Home Assistant. I'm pretty much certain I'm going to use it from now on so I can now go in and start naming the things correctly because I've, if I can recommend one thing is doing that, name them properly. But I wanted to get it working the way I wanted it to work before I invest any more time in it. But thankfully, it's, it's working so far. So anyway, that's a scene. So this is like, that's... A scene that I want to do, you can do a morning, there's a boiler now, you can do a morning scene and an afternoon scene if you wanted a different temperature in the evening, whatever you wish. Uh, so then we go into automation, uh, so we go down to heating. Does anyone else hate the way this is a million different uh, automations all together, trying to figure them out? Uh, anyway, thermostat, dining room day. So the schedule uh, is a trigger, so if the schedule goes from off to on, it's a trigger called on. Uh, and as if there's a trigger for off, from so it goes from on to off. Here we go. So those are the two triggers. There's no conditions, uh, overall conditions, but there is conditions within options. So I choose options. Uh, it might not be the best way to do it, but if it works, it works. So when triggered by on, so when the schedule turns to on, am I home? Is my partner home? Is the dining room below 16? Because even though I've set it at 18, 
you know, if it's if it's like say if it's seventeen point five, it would kick in and we continuously keep it up to eighteen for two hours, well, as long as the schedule's on. So I just put it as like, if it's below sixteen, you know, put the heating on. Uh, if it's below sixteen, you'll 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 notice it being colder. If it's slightly above sixteen to below eighteen, you do notice it, but it's you know that's it's my preference anyway. So if it meets those criteria, activate heating ground floor. Uh, and then when trigger by off two hours later normally, uh, it basically I don't didn't create a scene for off. I just told it to say off off. You could create a scene if you wanted, but uh, uh, just basically all the radiators go to off. And basically that's how I automate my heating. And when you go to this one here, you'll see here it's changed the the temperatures to eighteen because that's what I requested. But if you were to not use that scene and just use a scheduler with the thermostat it would push it to whatever temperature is set to here now of course it should be uh, I don't have it here I can't show you an example but I've got my three uh, uh, genetic thermostats which run the smart plugs because that works fine by the way uh, I've got them all working and left them in there but when you add Tado into this uh, YAML file well the configuration YAML file it just ignores the target temperature altogether and puts it whatever. Plus, if you've got a target temperature of 18, that means you've got 18 in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. You might like it warmer at night, so I feel a scene is much more useful because you can have morning heating scene, evening heat, heat, uh, heating scene. You can have different temperatures, but with this system, you've got one, one temperature, uh, which in the office, I don't mind in the, in the bedroom at night. You know, I only heat it in the evening in the morning, so it's quite nice to have a temperature. But in the dining room or the kitchen, you're in there quite a lot. Especially I work at home, so uh, you it's quite nice to have different temperatures at different times of day, depending on your preference. Um, so yeah, that's how I control the heating. Hopefully, this video is helpful. I know it's not about animation, but hopefully, it's helpful uh, to what uh, to what. If you're having issues with this as well, uh, if you are, I'd be interested to know if it's Nest as well, or all, all these you know heating systems, or is it just Tado that does this? No issues with Tado. I assume it's something with Home Assistant that's not reading it right, or Tado works in a certain way. But when you use Better Thermostat, uh, which is actually designed for using Tado, it's even worse. That was the one that put it to like 25 degrees. Uh, using generic thermostat, it was always lower for some reason. I don't know why. But it was still wrong, and the whole point is is to be right. So, there we go. If you do like the video, please hit like and subscribe. You'll get random like animation videos and automation videos in the future. Anyway, right. Well, thanks very much for your time. Cheers now.